Do you want to build more backlinks with link building and outreach? Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that, how to use a free tool to get backlinks to your website, and the exact steps that I'm using right now to build backlinks to my website with the skyscraper technique. So make sure you keep watching. By the way, if you haven't already, please subscribe and smash a like on this video because my link building tutorials will help you build more backlinks to your website and grow your site with SEO. Now let's jump in. All right, chap. So we're on Hunter.io campaign section and let's set this bad boy up. So basically I'm going to create a skyscraper campaign for a dating website. So don't worry, I'm not emailing everyone asking for a date, but instead I'm going to set up a campaign to promote some content and potentially get a link. Hopefully if everything goes to plan, if people like me. So <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to the email copyright that I've got ready here. And I'm just going to bang that into Hunter like this. So Gonna copy and paste it over here. Super easy. And you can see that I've already got the merge field set up, right? So you've got like first name, partner. So this is the mail merge. So in my prospects list, I've got the first name and then I've got the fallback text. So if I don't have the first name, it will say howdy partner. If I do have the first name, it'll say like howdy John Bob, whatever his name is. And then we're gonna copy and paste that into Hunter like this, simple as. And you can see, you know, if you've already got the copyright and template in place, it's only gonna take about two minutes to set this up. Now we're gonna add a follow-up over here. Usually I like to leave it seven days. I don't wanna be like, you know, annoying people or anything like that. So I'd recommend keeping it seven days between your follow-ups, especially if you're doing a skyscraper, like, you know, that's the best way to do it. And to be honest, most of the links you're gonna get are going to be on the second or third reply. Most of the time you won't get a link straight away. It's going to take a couple of follow-ups, a bit of determination and elbow grease. So that's why I recommend including follow-ups. Just don't follow up too much. <laughs> so then we paste that in. On Hunter it's pretty good because you can, you can see the whole email sequence here and you can keep the email subject line clear here if you want the follow-up to have the same subject line as the original email, right? So you can see follow up one, follow up two. The subject line is completely empty. And then you can see, right, here we go. You can sort of see from my email copy that like, it's super informal. You know, it's quite conversational when I write emails. And I'm not saying my jokes are like the best in the world. Definitely not that, I'm no stand-up comedian. But at the same time, you know, if you write something that stands out, that gets you noticed and that's gonna land you more links in the long run. So. That's why I recommend writing in this sort of style. By the way, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, right, I'm gonna steal this copyright because Julian is awesome at link building. Then, you know, first of all, I wouldn't recommend it because it's, you know, it's been sent to a lot of people already and it's been kind of rinsed. So nobody wants to see the same email copy from someone else. It's obviously gonna be a template. But then also I will hunt you down and make you give me a backlink. So do not steal my email copyright, please people. Anyway, what we're gonna do is click on next now that we've got the copy ready. And also just double check, you've got the copyright saved, right? So you can see saved, saved, just to make sure you've got the copyright in place. That's all you need to do and then click next. And as that loads, we're gonna add some people to our campaign. So I've got a little prospect list that I made earlier. Look at that bad boy. And it's looking incredible right now. We've got. How many people on here? Nearly 900 people on this prospect list that we're about to set up. And you know, these are all potential people that could link to me. Now, by the way, if you're wondering, does outreach work anymore? Is it dead or, you know, does anybody actually add links from outreach or does everyone buy links instead? Well, if you check out this page, this is a link that I got yesterday. So you can see there, they've linked to the page I'm about to promote now. And yeah, I would, say outreach definitely works but you need an awesome system for it like these days outreach is harder than ever it's only going to get tougher and that's exactly why you got to follow me on youtube because you know your boy julian's going to sort you out so anyway let's upload the csv file of the prospects we did earlier and we're going to import this and i'm going to add it to my dating tips list it's going to import it like that to be honest this is not the fastest importing process, okay? It may take a while for your contacts to import like this. And if you have a lot of people on the list, it's just gonna take longer. So maybe just go and make yourself a cup of tea, 
come back and eventually your leads will be important to Hunter. And um, when you're doing this, you need to map out the names of your fields with the merge fields on Hunter, right? So email, obviously, right there. Their URL is going to match the website. And that's pretty much it, to be honest, from my side. So we're going to start the import now, like that. And then instead of boring you to death whilst you watch a bunch of leads get imported, I'm going to come back once the list is ready. So I've come back, I've had a cup of chai, and I'm going to add these beautiful people from my leads that I've just imported into the campaign, right? So we'll filter the leads list, scroll down. Okay, it's got the first name there, that's beautiful. Click add 80, 883 recipients, like that. And that might take a second or two. And there we go, we've got the list of peeps, right? So we're gonna to go to next. And that's pretty much most of the campaign set up, right? So once we click on next, this is gonna give us a preview of the first email we're gonna send, the second one, and the third one. And basically what you can do here is just approve and you know, if there's a bunch of typos or spelling mistakes in there, you can quickly change them, right? So you get the preview here, Bing Bang Bosch, the next one, and the next one, right? And you can see the mail merge here, so it's got the first name, first name, there we go. And for example, this one, where it's using the fallback text, you can see, right, okay, howdy partner, chow chow, rather than the first name. So the fallback text has actually worked, which is great. And then all you need to do from here is click launch, and that will start the campaign. You know exactly how long it's gonna to take to hit all of the contacts on the list, and it's gonna begin immediately. Now, obviously, don't set the campaign active until you're ready to get started because you don't wanna send a bunch of people emails that you're not ready to send yet. And that's pretty much it for setting up a skyscraper campaign. Now, I wanna show you a couple of things before I get started. So, if we go to settings over here, what you should probably do before sending your campaign is smash the like button and subscribe on YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. What you need to do is click on sending window and then just choose the time so you want to send, right? So you could choose AM to 6 p.m. Update, five days a week, so five working days a week. And then you can choose a Gmail account. Now, what I will say is that the default emails limit is pretty damn high, like 100 is high. So what we're gonna do is set that to a million. Now, I'm just kidding. What we should probably do if we're just warming up the campaign and you haven't sent from in this email address before, I'd recommend just limiting it down to like 10 or 15. And then after a week, you can increase it to 20. And after another week, you can increase it to 30. And just slowly warm up your campaign. And if you do that, you're gonna see way better deliverability rates. You can see much better open rates. And you know, rather than getting marked as spam for sending so many damn emails at the same time, you can slowly warm up the campaign, boost your deliverability, and it's all happy days. And then also what you can do is change the unsubscribe sentence. So this is the default text. Click here is a button, they'll click to unsubscribe. But you can easily change that. So you could say, click here if you're really annoyed from hearing from me every single week. Or, you know, whatever you want to do. Click here if you really don't like my jokes in the email, right? And then you click update. And there you go. And you can manage your unsubscriptions here. You can actually manually unsubscribe people from the campaign. So if they say unsubscribe me, you can just go straight into Hunter and unsubscribe them, which I definitely recommend. And then click on templates as well. And here you can set up new templates for your campaign. So if you want to save time next time you're creating a campaign on Hunter, you can just edit it here. Super easy. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please smash a like on it because genuinely that would make my day. And also if you haven't already, please subscribe because my link below in tutorials will help you build more backlinks and grow your website with SEO.